What's going on, everybody? Today we are doing a science experiment because I have this board that needs some sprucing up. I use it all the time for my travel. I use it at the coffee houses. It definitely needs some sprucing up, but it's not made of spruce. It's made of black sycamore and a maple. You can see it definitely lost its luster over time. We are going to use a few different products that you may try on your chest collections. Feed and Wax, which is a beeswax. This is very, very popular for using it on chest pieces, chest boards. Also, this Renaissance wax. This is going to be used in the British Royal Museum. It is highly prized on furniture and metal and stone and all different pieces of material. Uh, pretty good stuff right there. And then also, maybe you haven't even thought of using car wax on your uh, chess boards, but it does give a very nice sheen and a really cool feel to it. So we're going to compare the three of them. We're going to set this up. I'm going to change the camera angle so we can get a better look. So let's do it. So what we are going to do is a true science experiment. We are going to compare these products side by side. We're going to put the board into quadrants. The first one, we're going to do the beeswax. We'll do it right here. The next one we're going to do is the Renaissance wax. We'll do right here. Over here, we will be doing the car wax. The brand here is Turtle Hard Shell Finish. And like any good experiment in science, we are going to be doing a control. So we'll do our control group right here. So first we're going to do the beeswax because the recommendation of the beeswax is to actually let it dry for 20 minutes. And the scientist in me is excited to do this experiment. The first one we're going to do is the feed and wax because it requires 20 minutes to dry. So let me give it a quick shake and I'm going to put it on a nice rag. Okay. I'm going to apply it liberally. You could, or it's actually looks pretty good already. I mean, look at that. I'll just get to get it on a little thicker. So it dries. Get it on nice and thick. However, the car wax, which is going to be right here, uh, the car wax only requires 15 minutes of drying at least. So all of these are at least. So at least 20 minutes, at least 15 minutes. So we'll put them on together and we'll wait the required amount of time. So it's right here. That's what it looks like. Uh, this is like a canuba wax type thing. This is turtle wax and we'll put it on. And you, if you never used, if you never used turtle wax on your, on your chess boards, uh, you might be surprised. Okay. I know I might get beef from people, um, pros and cons of using car wax on it, but don't knock it till you try it. Okay. There we go. All right. And the Renaissance wax right here. So what we'll do is we'll pause the, uh, video. I'm going to come back with about five minutes left and we are going to use the Renaissance wax because it dries instantaneously. Then we will look at the different results. See you guys soon. We are back and we are ready to apply the Renaissance wax over here because we have about five minutes to go. You can already see in the other quadrants, they're starting to dry. So with this Renaissance wax, I'm going to get a clean cloth right here. Okay. Um, the stuff inside, it actually smell, has a really interesting smell to it. Um, if you ever smelt it before, some people actually hate the smell. I like the smell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a glob of it and I'm just going to liberally uh, rub it in. And this stuff actually is pretty amazing how it really buffs out instantaneously. So you can see it right there already taking up the shine. Okay. I could feel it. Okay. Um, nice and dry, doesn't ha even have a, there is no 
indication that there is anything wet on here. It just feels like dry wax. It is time to remove the beeswax. So I have a nice cloth here, nice and clean. We're going to remove the excess like so. That looks really nice. And now for the car wax, we have the brand new uh, cloth right here because we got to kind of like buff it. So this right here, it's really, really hard. And I don't know if you ever waxed your car before, but it does require some buffing. And you really don't see the shine until it really buffs out. All right. All right, guys, we are done. I'm going to take the camera in my hands and I am going to go around and look at it up close. This is the control right here. I have some pieces modeling the, um, the quadrants. So you can see this is the control right here. Uh, the control definitely needed some tender love and care. So we are going to move over to the Renaissance wax. And the Renaissance wax, if you look at the squares, particularly the black ones, it really did bring some life to it. So the Renaissance wax actually, they're back at the control. Renaissance wax, you can see that it really gave some depth to the wood. Okay, now let's move over to the beeswax. The beeswax I really, really like because it actually gave a depth of color to the maple, which is really, really nice. You can see we no longer have those white scratchy lines in the black. Okay. Um, these pieces, if you're going to be playing with these pieces, they move nicely on them. Same thing with here. Although there's a little bit of resistance here with the Renaissance wax. It looks really nice. A little bit of a resistance here. Here it has some kind of movement to it. Um, so the beeswax definitely. So if you're going to be moving a piece, right? and you want to move your rook and you want to slide it down the file it's going to be nice feel to it to really move it however which brings me to the point of the car wax so the car wax did do its job it actually has an extra little glare to it but if you've ever uh waxed a car stuff just rolls off the car you could feel it so i almost just like i'm playing shuffleboard with the pieces um, they slide so easily down it, if that's what you're into. If you're looking for color and display, I would say beeswax is the winner. If you're looking for the feel of just sliding the pieces along while you play, I would say the car wax is the winner. Uh, and if you're looking for all around durability for protection, I would go with the Renaissance wax. So in conclusion, I took my mineral spritz and I cleaned my board, let it dry, and I put on the finish that I thought was not too slippery. And it was right in the middle with a deep, rich color. So the winner is the beeswax. So I refinished the whole thing with the beeswax and you can see that it is a gorgeous finish. I'm going to be using this board in my next tournament match. I'm going to pair it with some pieces. We'll have another video on that coming up. So if you guys have any additional things that you'd like to use on your chessboard, put them in the comments below because we want to talk about it.